Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Diplomacy is not an option game on your computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer and after the system restart, verify the game files. So open Steam, go to library, select the game, make a right click, then select properties, go to the local files tab, then click on verify integrative game files and after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner running in the computer, make sure that you close MSI Afterburner. So make sure overclocking application is not running. Now if you have Reva Tuner running in the computer, close Reva Tuner. And if you have undervolted your GPU, make sure that you remove the undervolt and close all the third party application. So make sure that you close everything make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close all the browsers now also close first of all disable the steam overlay so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord now if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay and overclocking application and then launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program uh, and in case if you're using windows security then allow the game exe file to the windows security for this go to the start menu click on settings then click on Privacy and security if you have Windows 10 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. Here you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to that folder so in my case it's uh, in c drive program files x86 then open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder now over here open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open once the game is added over here now launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try to launch the game from the game installation folder for so that make a right click and then select manage then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on game exe files, select properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode. I'm sorry, run this program as an administrator, put a check over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click over here and launch the game from the folder now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 so install both x86 and x64 version so do not install arm64 just install x86 and x64 click on both the exe file now once the download is complete run both the exe file Now click on run, click on repair or install whatever you see, you might see the install option or repair option, click on it, 
and click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now run the second file as well, that is x64 and x86, run both the file. Again click on repair or install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once the installation is complete, once both the installation is complete, click on restart and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to install media feature pack. So if you have Windows N edition, then install media feature pack. So for this, go to the start menu, click on settings. Now go to apps and then click on apps and features. In Windows 10, you will find an option on the top that is add a feature. So click on optional feature, click on apps and then click on optional features. Do not click on apps and features. Apps and then click on optional features. And in Windows 10, you will find an option which says add a feature. In Windows 10, 11, click on view feature. Then type in media feature pack over here. Now, once you type in media feature pack, you will see media feature pack over here. In my case, it's Windows 11 home. So I don't have media feature pack over here. In Windows N edition, you will find media feature pack like this. Put a check on the box over here and then click on next or install. After the installation, restart your computer and launch the game. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, again, open Windows 11 settings or Windows 10 settings. Go to Windows update or update and security. Then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart a computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to roll back graphics driver. So you can go to your AMD or NVIDIA website and then try to install the previous version of graphics driver and then check. Now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card, run the game on dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. So Open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common folder, game folder, select the game exe file, then click on add. Now once the game is added over here, click on options, select high performance, then click on save and now launch the game. Now the next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then Put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first, then click on disable all. In my case, it's grayed out. I already did it. In your case, it will be highlighted. So put a check over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply, then click on OK. Then you will see the restart option, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, try launching the game in window mode, lower down graphics settings. Go to options go to video now try to launch the game in window mode so select window mode over here and then try to lower down the resolution now for graphics quality if it is set to ultra you can select high you can even try medium or low and then confirm it and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall the game so for this again go to steam and then go to library make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall delete the game folder go to the game installation folder delete the game folder now after this restart your computer and then reinstall the game to another hard drive so if you have additional ssd or hdd try to install the game to another hard drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game working on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel